Hey fam, I'm looking forward to worshiping with you this week. Um, if you check out in our, in our weekly here, there's, there's a video link to um, a video on the biblical view of justice. And I, I think that'll be really good context for what we're going to talk about this week. This week we're in First John chapter 4. Let me just read to you what we're going to be considering this week. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us. And sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Propitiation means that Jesus was the sacrifice that turned away wrath. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us. Because he has given us of his spirit and we have seen and testify that God the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, of God abides in Him, and He in God. So we have come to know and believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in Him. By this is love perfected with us, so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment. Because as he is, so also are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he, does not love, he who does not love his brother... Whom he has seen cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him whoever loves God must also love his brother. I cannot wait to talk about this, this great, amazing truth that John has been, has been driving at the whole time that we've been reading his letter. God is love. He is, we're, we're talking about who God is in his very being. <laughs> I, I keep having this thought run through my head. Not, love is not all that God is, but all of God is love. That, that's, it's an incredible, incredible truth. And it's one that we can find rest in because I know that we have been going through a really difficult time. And I know that, that it's been really hard and we're worn down and we're weary. This weekend, we're going to be able to be comforted by God's word. I can't wait to see you. Come feast on the word with us. Join us at the Lord's table and feast on Christ. The God who is love has, has made a place for you with us. So whether you're going to be joining us here or online, I can't wait to worship with you on Sunday. Have a great weekend.